The Coast Guard Academy is very different from other universities. Uh, the biggest difference is that students who come here are not just going to school. They're going to school, they're involved in athletics, they're, there's a strong military component. So they're, um, while, they're, while at other institutions they're solely focusing on their academics and potentially have another job or have other things that are pulling them away from their school, they ha really have more um, freedom with their time and more ability to focus on academics if that's what they choose to do. The Coast Guard Academy, they are, t they are given a rigid schedule and, and we call it the plan of the day and it starts at 0600 in the morning with Reveille and goes for breakfast and then they have their first military obligation and then they have classes and then they have sports period and then they have a mandatory dinner period and then they go to military obligations and then finally around 8 o'clock at night they're allowed to start their homework. So it's, um, it, it is a very rigorous um, process, a rigorous day that they go through, and, and that, that is what separates us. Uh, one of the very nice things we have here about academics is that uh, our academics are really hands-on. We have civil engineering, mechanical engineering, naval architecture, and electrical engineering. Uh, electrical engineering, they really f mainly focus on uh, building computers and design, like the computer system to make the computer go. Uh, naval ar architecture, they design boats, which is really cool as well. Mechanical engineers focus on making engines for cars. Um, they build robots and stuff. They actually have competitions every year for that. And uh, as far as I know, we're pretty good at that. I mean, civil engineers, they really focus on building structures like uh, designing bridges, just like uh, adjusting workloads and stuff like that. So it's pretty interesting. Definitely my favorite part about being here is working with the cadets, like being in the classroom, seeing them over their four years. Um, they start off as freshmen and we see them come in. They're timid and they're still learning the rules and regulations because there's a lot of military um, elements that they're being forced to learn over these four years. Um, the first year it's tough for them. Um, so to see them come in and, and kind of struggle in the academic realm while they're trying to balance everything else and then see them over those four years become Coast Guard officers. Um, where they're comfortable with the, the rules and regulations, they're mastering their academics, they're excelling in the sports field and the military arena. Um, that to me is hugely exciting and I, that's what I love about this job. They always give us their contact information and they behoove us to always ask them and come to them if we need help. They are, they're willing to um, sacrifice their time to make sure that we understand the material. The teachers here are extremely accessible on the syllabus that we get in the beginning of the semesters, the teachers will give you their home phone numbers, their cell phone numbers, their email addresses, even their instant message screen names for AIM, instant messenger service. The teachers, they want to see you succeed and they go out of their way to help you. I've had teachers who've come to school when like, they're not feeling well just so they can make sure that they're there to administer the test to us and help us with any questions that we have. The faculty here are unlike anything I've ever experienced.